So for the last week of 2022, my wife and I drove the Audi S3 all the way up to Michigan from North Carolina, 1600 mile round trip. And we left the day after Christmas and then came back New Year's Day, which by the way, New Year's Day is a fantastic day to do a road trip. There's nobody out. So smooth sailing traffic wise, However, the drive up, now last week of 2022, especially for those of you on the East Coast or pretty much anywhere I think in the country, you guys know we had that insane freezing temperatures. It was 12 degrees the entire trip up from here all the way up there. And once we got to Ohio, the snow started to come. It was crazy, just so much slush and dirt and all sorts of crap all over the roads. And the car got destroyed, just so filthy dirty. This car came from California originally, so I highly doubt it's ever even seen the snow. So if we go ahead and take a closer look, you can just see how crazy it got with all sorts of road grime and dirt all in the wheels. So we're definitely gonna be cleaning this thing up. Even the tires themselves, the sidewalls are filthy. See all sorts of stuff all over the paint. And then we have a lot of accumulation back there. And then coming around to the rear again, just so much dirt. These gloss black exhaust tips used to be nice and shiny. Now they are covered. And again, I hope it comes off on camera with just how filthy the car has got. But crazy, crazy dirty. The one interesting thing, as we start making it to the front of the car, if you guys remember when I installed this front lip, I went ahead and did a coating on it. I did a removable spray paint to gloss black it and make it gloss black to match the black optics package. Now the paint I use is the same stuff I use on the calipers on the GTR. And two years later, these still look perfect, especially on the caliper. They still look like they are perfectly painted and just perfect. Crazy thing is when we came home, take a look at the splitter now. All of the black for the most part has peeled off. I don't exactly know how that happened. I mean, it was 12 degrees on the trip up there, driving through snow, salt, and just all sorts of stuff and all that coating pretty much peeled off. I was not expecting that. You can just see like how it flaked off or whatever. At least it looks like it will peel off pretty decently easy because I did a lot of good thick coats on it. But I don't really see any abrasion or anything like that. So it's not like it got sandblasted. And if anything, it at least protected the paintwork, which hopefully is in good shape. Once we wash the car, we'll be able to see how good the paint is. I think we may have got one little chip right here. Uh, some road debris that fell off a truck. Now, the only thing that actually kind of did happen to the car, like I said, it was 12 degrees on the entire trip up. At one point, once we got to Ohio where there was snow on the ground, driving through that sort of thing, we did the windshield wipers and the squirter thing did not work. Later on, once I got home, obviously a week later, I used the OBD 11 app to scan the car and there was a fault code for the windshield washer bottle. And being a California car, I'm assuming whatever washer fluid is in this car, it's probably not actually designed for freezing temperatures. So the lines were frozen, it wasn't working. It works fine now once everything thawed out, but that was the only actual fault code coming up in the car. We did use about 150 bucks worth of gas, so it's pretty economical. It is nearly empty, so let's hop in it real quick. Let's go fill it up. Uh, we're gonna run it through a car wash and then get back home and finish cleaning it. So the S3 definitely was a pretty good road trip car. And with the gas, we did learn that when the car says zero, it actually means it has about a gallon and a half left. And when we're getting to the mid stop in Ohio, we had about eight miles left to get to the gas station we were going to. And that's right when this car said zero miles left. I decided to keep driving, keep pushing it, even though it was 12 degrees and snowing, which wouldn't have been a fun walk to the nearest gas station. However, we made it fine because from what I have observed in cars that I filmed, when you have zero range left, you normally have one gallon of gas left. This has a 14.5 gallon fuel tank and we filled it up with 13.3. So we had over a gallon left in the car, even though the car said zero, went ahead and topped it off and then even kept filling it up another half a gallon, just getting the gas all the way up the filler tube and all that stuff. 
So that was our gas story with the car. We were able to make it halfway, which is about 350 miles or 370 miles maybe. Uh, wasn't too bad. And then as far as tires, so I have the ESR wheels and then the Michelin Performance All Seasons, all from Fitment Industries. Those tires, I am really glad I went with All Seasons. It didn't have any issues through the slush, the snow, the ice, the freezing temperatures. I know if these were summer tires, we would have been on hockey pucks and it would have been a little sketchy on certain parts of the road. So really happy with the tire setup in the car. And it really did drive really well. The Audi is not a bad car. It's a little small. We had our snowboards with us and everything. And when I film car reviews and I say you can fit snowboards in it, that's what I do in my life. We fit our snowboards in it when we're doing a winter trip. So we had the snowboards in the back, which really did uh, push this car to the limits as far as how much space we had. But it worked. You know, this car worked. We had it filled to the brim. Now we got to fill the gas tank to the brim because we are on 25 miles left. So on to the car wash now that we've got gas in the car. Now I don't normally take my cars through automatic car washes. However, this one has uh, the thing that squirts the underside of the car. And since we drove through so much garbage all over the roads, the underside of this car is gonna be filthy. Still gonna put it up on jack stands just to do an even more thorough job through the suspension and stuff like that. But as you can see on the ground up there, this one will get the whole underside really good. Please wait while your transaction is being processed. Thank you. Please pull forward. Once it senses the car on it, should do the underside stuff. All right, so we got that quick car wash done, which honestly was a waste of $5. It, all it did was rinse it off and it didn't even do the underside. However, at least my wheels are decently clean. Uh, the car looks better than it did, but that didn't quite work the way I was going to hope it was gonna work, but at least we've got a lot of the crap off overall for the car. So that car wash didn't really work out too well. That's what happens when you buy the $5 or the cheapest one. It didn't do an underside wash at all. But with that said, let's get the Audi lifted up on some stands and I'm gonna manually clean it all. And then we're gonna get this thing nice and in clean tip top shape. All right, well, this is a far cry from just a week ago at 12 degrees. Now it's like 70 and sunny. We got the flip flops on and it is time to give the underside of the S3 a good washing. Make sure there's no salt or any sort of road grime all in the crevices underneath.
So with the car all nicely dried off, now a lot of people ask how we clean our cars. So I'm using the Redfast Waterless Car Wash. This is how I kind of do the fine detailing. And with a nice clean microfiber after already washing the wheels, I've done a full wash on the car and dried the car. The wheels are still wet. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some waterless wash just to really get the salt and crap that's in all these little crevices uh, loosened and a little bit better cleaned because obviously this is a little bit different type of dirt than we normally get on our cars, but at least I can do this and already you can see the brown coming up and that was just barely one little pass at cleaning these wheels. All right, so car wash is all complete. Let's cue a quick montage of how much better this thing is. It looked destroyed before. Let's check it out. So there is kind of my review update after driving the Audi S3 1600 miles, heading up to the in-laws in Michigan through the winter, through the snow, through all the crap. Overall, the car is really good. In comfort mode, the magnetic suspension, car drives really good. My AWE exhaust, super quiet on the highway. Only drone happens when you're going around 3000 RPM uphill. Other than that, super quiet and comfortable. It's a really nice car for the long haul. The tires, these Michelin all seasons, I'm really, really impressed with. H&R Springs rode really nice. And uh, overall, the car really, you can't complain with it. Only bit of damage after washing it. I did find one little spot. And when we get the Audi RS3 to replace this, I'm gonna do PPF on the hood and the front bumper. Might be hard to see, but those same little scratches that I found, there's actually kind of a scuff in it. You can kind of see that right there. So that little scuff, I wonder if I can buff that out a little bit, but that scuff and the few little tiny chips seem to be the only damage on the actual car and um, not the craziest thing, not the worst thing in the world. And then as for the front splitter, the removable spray paint that I used to make it gloss black, needless to say, the winter helped me remove it quicker. And as you saw, when I washed the car, I was able to peel off all the black, so I didn't actually have to take the splitter off, but it's back to normal the way it came from the factory, the 90 shop splitter. So it's kind of a carbon fiber hydro dip design. Still looks super cool on the car. So we're just gonna leave it like this, which is okay because I have something coming tomorrow that is all full of carbon fiber. So needless to say, I don't mind the extra carbon. While it's fake carbon, it still looks pretty cool. And I may or may not black it out once again. But with all that said, there's an update on the Audi S3, taking it on a winter journey, using it as our winter beater. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content. See you guys in the next video.